All right. So, I got that. I nailed it. That was smooth. You didn't even hear me struggling. <laughs> uh, I suppose I can lead this one off. So, <laughs> if you want, sure, go ahead. Sorry, spawning I for a second. in the bottommost position on this three-player map of Catalina with the crazy-looking calamari in the middle. We have our now green Zerg player representing Team Liquid, Anti-Citizen. And the top part of the map we have is pink Protoss opponent. It is Swanky's Oxygen. So now we know the spawn positions. We got 12 o'clock, 7 o'clock. What do you think now? Uh, I'm thinking if Anti's smart, he's going to try and go for a macro game. Um, there's plenty of defensible positions uh, for Zerg. Going. So he can, he can basically take his natural, and then he can take a third uh, on the base just to the left of his natural. So mm -hmm. like if any, anybody watching on stream, this one right here, you can take this base right here. And the only thing that he has to really cover with creep is this area right in the middle. Sure, sure. And uh, he will put himself in a very good position and be able to really kind of push forward. And then as mm -hmm. he's pushing forward, he can take uh, the next base up, just up that ramp from where his natural and his third kind of meet. He can just take the ramp up and grab that next base forward as a fourth. Though you normally don't want to expand towards your opponent, um, you want to you'll want to get the bases that are closer creep-wise, especially against Protoss. For sure. And that, I guess, is kind of speaking to the issue you were thinking about if he was on the 9 o'clock position, is that he would have to take the base closer to his opponent. And uh, the other one, obviously, not as appealing from creep spread standpoint. Protoss yeah, player on this map, I honestly speaking, I look at two things immediately. There's no Zelenaga watchtowers anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the typical ground scout path runs through the middle of the map and doesn't really see anything because it's on the low ground. So I'll be honest, if there's any map you want to proxy something on, this is a great place to do it. This is a gorgeous place to do it. You could hide basically anything, and it's going to be almost impossible to find. Definitely, yeah. But Oxy, I don't think he's going to do that. In fact, he looks like he's setting up just for a gateway expand. Got the probe sitting there waiting. Hatch down. But don't. Who cares to be the Nexus? We already have like, uh, two pair of Zergling run across the uh, run across the map now. It looks like they're. He saw the Nexus go down, and it looks like he's going to try and shut this down as much as possible. Uh, he's not going to be able to break in at all. No, not as long as that uh, Zell stays on hold position. He's going to be able to, yeah, force a cancel on that. And he can be a little bit irritating on this Nexus, but it should not be too long, though, before the uh, Stalker comes out. Looks like he's actually going to try and micro a bit against this, but he may be allowing the Zerglings the opportunity to actually slip in if he's not too careful. And they can cause a lot of really irritating chaos at this stage in the game. Unfortunately, yeah. for any citizen, took his eyes off the links for just a little too long, and now there's only two of them, so that's a little bit less appealing. Yep. And it's kind of a shame, too, because he has speed that's about to finish up in a few seconds. Um, and he's got tons of tons more links that he's making. And if, if he had been able to keep all four of those links alive, he could have brought all of the brunt of, of the 14 Zerg links that he would have had to bear on this and actually might have been able to shut this down completely. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to be happening now anyway. Nope, uh, is he considering trying it? Obviously not going to be building links at this time of the game if you're not going to do something like that. He's got to move that Zealot in the position right now. And he is. Good. Did he hit hold position on that? And it looks like it. We'll find out in just a second here. Here's This is the really scary part of the game for a Protoss player is that that Zealot is not on hold position. You'll die. Very yeah, quickly. I mean, that Zealot just has to be out of position for a few seconds, and those Lings are going to end, and there's Anti trying to squeeze him in. Luckily, he had the other two Zealots there for backup. Lings aren't going to be able to get in at all. Oh, oh close call there. so close. Oh, no! Oh, just caught out of position. The Lings are going to okay. run all the way into the main base. I and was exaggerating a bit about this being, like, this isn't game over, but this is hella annoying, because now he's not going to be able to mine from this base for a little while. 
He does have more than enough to defend against this, especially with, like, basically four Zealots now in play. But this is always an interesting moment, I think, for the Zerg player, because you have to make a judgment call. It's like, well, do I just flood him with Lings now that I'm in his base causing chaos? Or... Honestly, like, he's getting the layer up right now. Lair's about to finish. Um, oh, and where are the killing... Where are the Zealots? Where are the Zealots? The Zealots are not here! Oh, they're there. Okay, good. They're in there. They're, in, they're mixing up. But he's killed off 10 probes so far. Uh, looks like he's going to get a few more kills. And this is now... We're up to about 30 seconds of game time where he's not had probes mining anywhere. Hey, yeah, basically at all. And that's really brutal. Kills off a total of 15 workers out of that. Uh, <sighs> trades, trades 15 Zerglings for 15 workers and denies mining time for... It was almost a full minute by the time they were finally cleaned up and everything got back to work. So that that was pretty cost effective right there. In the meantime, back at his base, Anti's getting double Evo Chamber and a Roach Warren up. He already has the lair out, so as soon as the Roach Warren finishes, mm -hmm. he can follow it up with speed if he wants to, also, as you so duly pointed out. Bailing. <laughs> Remember, he did basic all oh, a dark shrine. All right, we'll talk about that in just a second. But basically, he did as much damage with that ling run by as he did with the mutus. So that is pretty scary. The thing is, the DTs could turn this around for him if he can get a right position on. Unfortunately, he's got no pylon on the map right now, so they're not going to get over there very quickly. He should be able to respond to this pretty pretty easily, actually. And there, with, are, uh, overseer. there are tons of lings on the map right now. Uh, there's there's 34, which this kind of this early on, especially after a big attack like that, when you're transitioning to the macro side of it, still producing this many lings. Even if DTs are out, the lair tech's already there. It's super easy to morph in an overseer. Yep. Um, Another real difficult thing here is that there's no cannon here, and that wall unfortunately is half pylons, so this is going to be pretty easy to break through. Now the question is going to be, is he going to go for the leftmost pylon where there's only one <laughs> pylon? Or is he going to try and break through all three of the ones that are on the right hand side because it'll give him... Or is he just going to straight up blow up a uh, gateway? The answer uh, is yes! Gateway. The answer is he did both. <laughs> Here come the rest of the links. He's going to get this around in the army and try and pick everything off. Here's warping in more zealous, but it's not really cutting into the link oh. count. And okay, it's... so he just morphed in Dark Templar, so Anti knows that they're there if he was paying yes. attention at all. So now he's going to split his lings up between the two bases and start going after the probes as much as he can. And that's GG. This time with no GG from uh, Oxy. That was, that was a really, really fast game.